Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King, Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is the Tuesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider for today is Reverend Father Louis Punzalan, SPD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Gospel reading for today will narrate to us the election of the twelve apostles. They were selected, they were chosen by Christ so that they could be with Christ and that later on they would be missioned by Christ. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed, and receive adoption. Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you with a case against another dare to bring it to the unjust for judgment instead of to the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world? If the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If therefore you have courts for everyday matters, do you see it as judges of people of no standing in the church? I say this, shame to you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather, brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. Now indeed, then it is, in any case, a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, 
nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. This is what some of you used to be, but now you have had yourselves washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in His people. The Lord takes delight in His people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let them praise His name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to Him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves His people, and He adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in His people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all His faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in His people. We honor the Holy Gospel. With your spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain in order to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called the disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter and his brother Andrew, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon who was called a zealot, and Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground, a great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to listen to Jesus and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him. Because power came forth from him, and he healed all of them. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> the gospel reading for today is the story of the call of the twelve Apostles. It is the story of the election of the twelve. You did not choose me. I chose you to bear fruit and that your fruit shall endure. By their fruit, people will know that you are my disciples. My dear brothers and sisters, it is interesting to observe it is salutary to observe why Jesus chose the twelve and how he chose the twelve. Jesus chose them 
that they might be with him. The apostles were to be the special friends of Jesus. They are the companions of Jesus. They are the closest friends, the associates, the assistants, the helpers of Jesus. These men were chosen from among a group of disciples. The word disciple means learner. <clears throat> These men were to be those who were always learning more and more from the Master. Our Lord Jesus also said, You are all learners. You have only one teacher. These men were also chosen to be His apostles. The Greek word apostolos means somebody sent or somebody who is mission. The word can be used for an envoy or like an ambassador. That is why the apostles were the ambassadors of Christ to other people. And similarly, the Christian too is ever sent to be an ambassador of Christ, not only in word, but most specially in action. What kind of men were the original apostles of Jesus? How are we going to characterize them? They were very ordinary mortals. There was no wealthy one among them. Nobody was prominent. Nobody among the twelve was influential. They had no special education. Most of them were, the, were coming from the working class. They did not study in the best universities. They were men of the common folk. Jesus must have said, Give me twelve ordinary men and I will change the world. I will give them a work that is extraordinary. That is why the work of Jesus lies not in the hands of men whom the world calls great, but in the hands of people very ordinary like us. Interestingly, my dear brothers and sisters, the apostles were also a strange mixture of personalities because they were coming from different backgrounds they exhibited different behaviors and different temperaments like our seminarians they are not coming from one family they did not proceed from the same parents you come from different provinces and different cities you did not come from the same backgrounds and similarly, the apostles, the choice of the apostles is that they come from different backgrounds and different temperaments. And this is to emphasize the universal character of mission. That the church is missionary in nature. That the church is missionary in vocation. And the church is Catholic. Meaning to say, the church is universal. That is why, if you will just mention two of them, for example, Matthew was a tax collector and therefore a zealot, a traitor, and a renegade. And Peter was a zealot. And zealots were fanatical nationalists who were sworn to assassinate every traitor and every Roman citizen inside. The important thing is that when people are really Christian in outlook, even in the most diverse, even in the most divergent types, they can live peaceably with one another. Until recently, for example, the SVD in its different communities, in big universities and communities, they, were, they had members coming from different nationalities and different backgrounds. There were Germans, 
there were Austrians, there were Dutchmen, there were Americans, Indonesians, Indians, Polish, Filipinos. And some people are wondering, how can you live peaceably with one another? You come from different nationalities. You come from different backgrounds. My dear brothers and sisters, it may not be easy to tolerate each other because of our individual differences, but the task will be made easier if Christ is always at the center. It is Christ who teaches us to be more patient, to be more accommodating, to be more friendly and tolerant, to be more understanding and forgiving to each other. In spite of our idiosyncrasies, in spite of our stupidity, in spite of our foolishness and our personal differences. If we really love God, we will also try to love one another. It may be difficult, but it is not impossible. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to the Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. The response will be, Father, hear us in Christ. Father, hear us in Christ. That the Church, through the Pope and bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life, we pray. Father, Father hear, hear us, us in Christ. That statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation, we pray. Father, hear us in Christ. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation God has called us to undertake, we pray. Father, hear us in Christ. That the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties, we pray. Father, hear us in Christ. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom, we pray. Father, hear us in Christ. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed men in your own image and likeness and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as in joyful praise we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Santiago Baroa, Victorio Ora Soriano, Sr., Roel Salveron, Julius Rainier Salveron, Mahmoud Hakim Rabet, Eldridge Wadi Wyatt Bakud, Father Eli Mata SVD, 
whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. And remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for an increase of religious missionary vocations as we pray the Our Father together. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us greet one another with a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. You did not choose me, I chose you. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus who chooses and who has chosen every one of us. The Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world, happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renedimitz, pray for us. Be seated for a few seconds. I'll be quick. I'd like to greet one of our donors here. A happy birthday, June Arpon in Thailand. I'd like also to thank the following people on behalf of Christ the King Seminary. Thank the following people for sharing with us their blessings for our seminarians. Very quickly, Margie Maristela, Maria Lorleto Bermejo, Erlinda Pareja, Maria Rachel Garcia, Edwin Rapisora, Marilyn Acosta, Maria Omega Gonzalez, Patricio Gonzaga, Ana Maria Agdepa, Bernadette Lim, Kay Eustachio, Regina Piano, Pilar Cusi, Diane Pearl Navarro, Cheryl Lichauco, Marisa Renolayan, Ermelinda Pellegrino, June and Malu Villasilio, Carol Salgado, Olive Nyap, Anne-Marie San Andres, June Hamero, Eleanor Lim, Milagro Salandoni, Kathleen Pagsulingan, Almi Mehoy, Rudy Velasco, Maria Angeles de Guzman, Pedro Paolo Antonio Tabirara, Brian Jonas Flores, Marian Abau, Elena Kalman, Kay Eustachio, Zara Larano, Carla Arroyo, Maristela Fandino, Bernadette de la Rosa, Rosalie Calumba, Eden Ley Agabao, Bethilda Reyes, Jocelyn Tan, Ana Marie Zafe, Rose Lamares, Almi Mehoy, Gloria Chua, Lou Rivera, Magda Lotho, Richel Mendoza, Rochelle Tarayao, Mila Guinness, Mike and Esther Jane Hernandez, Attorney Adelina Gatula, Amon and Gigi Ladesa, June Villasilio, 
Nenita Henodia, Emma Lau Lim in Canada, Cynthia Moncada Pornavalay in Thailand, Cecilia Viray, Beda Manalang, Rolando Tampus, and Ivy Pineda Ocampo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. I'd like also to announce that this coming Thursday, September 8, the Nativity of the Blessed Mother and the 147th Foundation Anniversary of the SVD or the Society of the Divine Word, we will have a special Thanksgiving Mass here at the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word at 9 o'clock in the morning. Mass will be online. There will still be a 6.30 Mass in the morning, but I'd like to invite our friends, our faithful, the donors and the benefactors of Christ the King, please join us this coming Thursday because we will offer this Mass especially for your intentions. 9 o'clock in the morning, Thursday, September 8. I'd like also to continue to appeal for help on behalf of our seminarians. If you are interested and if you have the willingness and the capacity to help send our seminarians to school, to college here at Christ the King, please take note of the following bank details. Banco de Oro, Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc., Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc., 000-220-191-247. And we are also keeping two GCAS numbers that are being posted in front of you on your screen. 0967-318-9830. 743 I forgot but it's there in front of you I forgot the second one but I remember the first one and our email address is cksdonorcare at gmail.com May I assure our donors and benefactors and friends that we always pray for you and we remember you in our mass intentions Thank you so very much God bless you let us all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is King of Kings. Come, let us adore Him. In deepest reverence, we approach the glorious throne of our risen Lord and King, Jesus Christ, and offer Him the tribute of our homage and adoration. We adore and praise Him to whom the Eternal Father said, 
yours is princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor before the day star like the Jew I have begotten you Lord Jesus not only do we implore you for your mercy we earnestly beg of you to reign over us your interests must be our own fulfill in our time the promises you made to Saint Margaret Mary hasten and establish the universal reign of your sacred heart triumph by the reign of your sacred heart O Jesus before Satan succeeds in corrupting every state of life and leading the people far from you and from their eternal salvation. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart and gain the victory of your love in every home. Reign there by your spirit of peace promised to all joyfully receive you into their hearts. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart and do not delay, dear Lord, for many homes are suffering bitter evils which you alone can heal. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, grant to priests and religious that by the word and example they draw all people to you to love and serve you faithfully. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart, enlighten the youth of today that they grasp the beauty of a clean life, the strength of a solid virtue, and the attractiveness of mercy and love as demonstrated by your own life of selfless service to others. Triumph by the reign of your sacred heart. Conquer them by your gospel message, so that their ideal is not other than you, O sacred heart of Jesus. Give them a tender love of your virgin mother, so that they learn from her the secrets of the heart that has so loved people. Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us present our needs and petitions to the merciful heart of Christ the King. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 